Hey everyone, No Tempest Star here, and in this video, I wanted to talk about, um, well, I want to talk more about my Stardust, aka Selenite Powder. I featured it in one of my self love spell videos, and I have gotten um, a couple people um, asking, you know, what is Stardust? How do you make it? Where does it come from? What does it do? So that's what I pretty much wanted to cover in this video. So um, this is my Stardust, and this is pretty much um, powdered Selenite. And Selenite looks like this. This is raw, raw Selenite in its raw form. And I call it Stardust because it's like the, it's like a sheen, you know, like this the it's like shiny like a star. That's what it reminds me of like a star. So that's why I call it Stardust. Um, let's go over the properties real quick of Selenite, or some of the properties I should say. So um, Selenite is an all-around cleansing stone. It doesn't need to be cleansed itself, and it's often used to cleanse um, other crystals. So you can cleanse your aura with it. Um, so it's all around cleanser, so it neutralizes, um, clears, and releases any unwanted, unneeded, or unnecessary energies. Um, to make the selenite powder, it's pretty simple. You take a raw piece of selenite, and you put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, the thicker, the better. And then you want to take that Ziploc bag and put it in another one, so that it's double covered. Because when you are crushing it, um, sometimes the bag makes a hole, and then some of the powder comes out of that hole. So... What I do is I, I do that, I double bag it in a Ziploc baggie and I take a rock and I crush it. And I crush it, um, you know, I put it on the cement and I'll crush it. And once it's crushed, um, it's not gonna be completely fine and even like a powder. It's still gonna have like little bits and chunks of selenite. So if you wanna make it even finer into like a nice fine powder, you can take it into your mortar and pestle and you can grind it up and it'll, um, af after time it'll become nice and like fine into like a nice powder. Um, when I was first making this, um, when I was first making it into Stardust, um, I felt kind of bad because I felt like I was destroying a crystal, you know, and um, I um, quickly caught myself and I thought, I'm not destroying a crystal, I'm transforming it, I'm turning it into something different that becomes more versatile um, for and, you know, more useful for me, you know. Um, so, like I said, I'm not destroying it, I'm transforming it. And when you think about um, all these crystals that we go out and buy, you guys, you know, they don't come like this. They don't grow out of the ground like this. They grow much bigger, you know. And um, when they are, um, how, what's the word for it, like harvested, um, they are cut out of the ground using chisels and saws and things like that. So, um, you know, they're taken out of the ground and then they are also, after that, cut down and sized um, and you know all that so um, I don't feel like we're destroying it because they do still carry the energies and properties after they're taken out of the ground to the point where we buy them and we use them you know so you're not destroying it you're transforming it so you want to keep that in mind because um, if you think that as you're doing this you're putting that energy into this work and you don't want that so um, yeah it's pretty simple double bag it as a block baggie put it on the cement and grab a rock and just crush it crush it as much as you can and when you get it to your um the consistency that you like you can use it like that or you can you know grind it up in your in your mortar and pestle to make it even finer this one i didn't grind so i can give you an example i didn't grind it in the mortar and pestle i just simply crushed it so it's pretty um nice and fine but there still are some chunks i don't know if you can see i can see them um but this is um how i like it um if i do want it um finer i will go ahead and put in the um, mortar and pestle so I love this. Um, I not only use it for um, cleansing, I also use it um, in wish magic because it's stardust and you know wish upon a star things like that. So um, and it does work. You know it does work for me. I use it in wish magic. I'll um, dress the candle with it or um, throw it in an oil or, or anything like that. So um, selenite does dissolve in water, and you can use this in. Um, and um, I I just made this in a previous video, or in, in another video I should say. Um, my spiritual water, I do use it in my spiritual water, which I do use for ble uh, blessing and cleansing. <laughs> I'm also blending. Blessing and cleansing. Um, you can use it for protection. Um, <coughs> excuse me, you can throw it in your oils. Um, when it comes to selenite um, elixirs, um, you do not want to drink this. Selenite is not toxic. It is not toxic. I did my research. If you want to go ahead and do your own, that's fine. It is not toxic, but you still do not want to drink it. The reason being because um, we're not entirely sure when you are crushing it and grinding it that there still aren't little fine pieces of selenite within and um, holding pieces of raw selenite, sometimes it'll break off like little thin like needles 
will come off and they're so clear that sometimes you can't see them and if you swallow that you could you know cause yourself internal injuries not um i mean that it's it's a it's a thought i don't i'm not trying to scare you but um i would not invite advise drinking it whatsoever um Salonite does dissolve in water, so over time those little pricks will dissolve in water, but I still will not drink it. It's not toxic, but I still would not personally drink it, so I'm not going to advise anybody to do that either. Um, you can apply it to your skin. Um, I have very sensitive skin, so I dilute it heavily. So like, I will take a bigger jar than this of water and drop like a little pinch in there and dilute it heavily, shake it up real good, mix it, and leave it there for a few days so that it completely dissolves, and then you can anoint you know, yourself. Um, I don't like anything on my face, so I don't put this on my face I don't know um, you know because you're, you're the skin on your face is um, more sensitive than anywhere else on your body so um, I don't put it on I don't put anything on my face I just put lotion and soap and that's it <laughs> oh. but as far as like me anointing my hands or my palms you know there's no like irritation or anything I've done my research and um, selenite is used in like um, beauty beauty uh, products they put it in baths and creams and things like that so it is safe on the skin um, but go ahead and do your own research um, because um, everybody's different. You might have um, even more sensitive skin than I, so you know, do your research before you um, you know, go forward and, and um, make those sorts of things. Um, another thing you, you don't want to do is um, you don't want to inhale this, so be absolutely extremely careful when working with this. Um, you don't want to inhale it um, at all for the same reason as, as um, you know, swallowing it, there might be little pieces that go up your, um, in, into your, um, your pathways or whatever when you breathe in. Um, you know, it could possibly have um, some danger, so um, please be careful, do not breathe this in. Um, this isn't a dangerous thing to work with. I'm just expressing, you know, basic common sense. You don't want to eat this, you don't want to breathe this, you know, things like that. Um, keep it away from your eyes. So if you're if you're working with it with your hands, please wash your hands before you touch your eyes. Things like that. Um, I just I, I care deeply for you guys, and I just want you guys to be safe. I don't want you to be careless when working with this or anything for that matter. Um, so that's why I wanted to include that in this video. Um, I wanted to give a couple more examples of things that you can um, um, use this with. So I went ahead and wrote them down on this piece of paper. So like I mentioned before, this is used in like beauty products, so you can make a quick and easy. Um, uh, bath with this. You can take a um, a jar or a, or a bottle and um, fill it with water and um, that's going to dilute um, the stardust. So you want to take a couple pinches of it, throw it in there, and you want to take some Epsom salt and you want to draw a bath, nice warm bath, and you want to throw that in there and you want to pray over it. You don't need you know, a, a lot of stardust. A little bit goes a long way. So you just pretty much want to use it to empower the bath. So for me, if I don't have a jar on hand, I would draw the bath, throw some Epsom salt in there, take a little bit and sprinkle it into the bath and pray over it or say an incantation over it, things like that. And then I would um, lay in it and it, it's, it's cleansing. It's cleansing your entire body, your aura, everything. Um, you can take this and um, mix it in some chemical free paint or sealant and you can put it on your walls and you can you can already imagine what that would make your space feel like it's going to make it feel so clean and pure and over time you know you do need to recharge you know the selenite so what you can do is you can take um a singing bowl or a wine glass and you can um make the sound you know it's going to carry and the vibration is going to carry around the entire room it's going to recharge and um um, reprogram the um, the energies of the selenite that are in your wall so um, if you don't want to mix it you can always um, just throw it onto the wet paint and it's going to be um, embedded in your wall now you know and that's something I actually um, found out very recently I thought that was a really great idea which is why I wanted to include it in this video I will be doing that and um, it's I can't wait to um, see what it feels like in here I mean it already feels nice as it is I just, it's gonna feel amazing so chemical free paint or sealant, throw in some um, stardust and paint your walls and you know it's gonna be so I, I'm smiling I know you guys can't see me but I'm like smiling because I can already feel like the, the purity in my room you know so um, <clears throat> you can also smudge your room that would also cleanse the, um, the selenite and things like that but like I said um, selenite is a crystal that doesn't need cleansing 
but if you want to charge it, you can use your singing bowl. Um, if you um, if you can, you can reflect um, full moonlight across your room, and that would recharge it as well. Um, let's see what else. Okay, you can sprinkle um, the stardust in your garden because it is um, it does dissolve in water. It will eventually um, dissolve when you're watering your garden. Sprinkle it in your garden or walkway to enhance welcoming energies. You know, um, for spell works, you can use it um, for cleansing, protection and truth. Um, selenite is a stone of truth, so if you're doing a truth spell, you can use this in your truth spell. Um, do it in meditations. Um, dilute it in some water, heavily dilute it in water, and you can place it, um, some of the mixture on your hands um, when you're meditating. Um, you can use it for scrying, like I said, for truth. You can um, put some water in a bowl and put some stardust in it, mix it all up, and then scry into it, and um, there you go. Um, that's pretty much all I have written down. Um, I don't want this video to go on longer than it already is, so that's pretty much it. Um, let me see if I left anything out. Um, what is it? I covered that. Um, what does it do? How does it work? How do you make it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Reach me on any social media I have to offer, and thank you all for tuning in. Much love and many blessings.